I'm Allison Atchison, and I'm curator of Smart Space at Science Museum Oklahoma. And hi, I'm Brian Chambers with the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. I'm the manager of programming. Today we're going to explore the fun exhibits here at Science Museum Oklahoma. Allison, thank you for having us. Right now we are in Smart Space at Science Museum Oklahoma and Smart Space is our art galleries where we feature exhibitions that focus on the arts and the intersection with science through the arts. Uh, so right now we're in Jumble. Jumble is created by um, Seattle-based artists Julie Alpert and Andy Arkley, but they are currently living in Oklahoma through the Tulsa Artist Fellowship. They spent about a year designing Jumble here. It's a multimedia exhibition installation um, with original music, screen uh, projections, projection mapping, lights, and interactive buttons to play with it. Well, everything about Jumble to me, it really relates to everything happening at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art and our exhibition, Moving Vision, um, op and kinetic art from the 60s and 70s because of the intersection of art and science. So when I think about the viewer art and art being interactive, I think of all art as being interactive. We're using our eyes, we're using our senses, all of our senses to take in that visual object space or experience and in moving vision, it's stressed a little bit more because in, in, for many of those objects, for the artist, the thought was that the viewer would, experiencing, would experience that by manipulating it or activating a motor or um, move back and forth with that, that light box and things shifting. I'm referring to different objects in the exhibition and how they're activated. But in many cases, I think of, again, all art as being activated. Um, this experience between objects, space, all the elements going on, and um, we as viewers and how we experience that. Okay, so one thing that we try to do in Smart Space and in the Science Museum as a whole uh, is to create wonder in our visitors. This is a great example in this exhibition, Elemental Worlds. Um, we see kids coming in here, they have no idea what's gonna happen. Yeah. We've even had all of the projectors off at once and kids will still spend up to half an hour in here building animals on the screens. Once they pop up on the big projections, anything can happen. They're different colors, some of them make different sounds. Like many of the objects in Moving Vision, when you walk up to it, you're surprised. It's not what you expected. When I walk into this space, um, I see this natural environment. It's completely immersive. I feel like I'm in a, a realistic or a natural video game. And just like video games, I can participate. I can participate passively, sitting here just soaking in all of the nature, or I can activate it and create animals and manipulate them. And many of the objects in Moving Vision have a, a similar method of interaction. Some of them more direct and others less so in, in our exhibition. But still, there's this interaction, this experience between the object, the creation by the artist, and what the viewers take in. It really does envelop you much like this space. This exhibition is titled Screens. It's by Oklahoma artist Jeffrey Hicks. He is based in Tulsa and specializes in technology and the arts. Uh, this is a great exhibition. Again, like the theme that we have going on right now in Smart Space, it's interactive, it's using technology, it's thinking about engineering and all of the other things that you can do with uh, knowledge of the arts. The art is not finished until the visitor is there. The experience is based off a human experience. And after that object is created, that experience for the creator, the artist is finished, and now it's our job for that art to live on and to have an impact on our daily lives and experiences. 
Much like here, when we're waving around and these screens are activated, the presence of the viewer around the objects and moving vision don't necessarily have a direct or immediate reaction um, produced by the, the art, but really our proximity to, to that art object changes the experience. All of a sudden you're seeing something different, you shift positions, and the art is entirely changed. So in that case, I do see how not only the novel introduction of new materials and things that really wouldn't be considered art materials, um, how the introduction of that changes the experiences that we can have as viewers. Um, getting closer to, I don't know, realizing the power that art has on our everyday lives.